Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am making brownies. Keep your fingers crossed they turn out good. But I just found out, literally like five minutes ago, I have no granulated sugar. I have no brown sugar. I have no honey. And one of the recommendations online is to use syrup. So we shall see how these brownies turn out. I have everything else. Now, it does ask, uh, it does say to add a half a cup of chocolate syrup. Um, that is when you drizzle them and put uh, almonds on top and then stick them back in the oven. But I'm going to actually use um, a couple of walnuts. I have a good stash of them. Might as well start using them. So, we shall see how this turns out. Ingredient. A cup of butter melted. Well now, because I will not be using the two cups of white sugar, and I will be using this instead, which is a liquid, um, you're supposed to decrease the amount of other liquids in a recipe. So instead of a full cup of butter melted, I'm going to melt a half a cup of butter and then I will add my teaspoon of vanilla extract, my four eggs, and then I'll proceed to add the dry ingredients. So let's get this microwaved and melted. There is my half a cup of butter melted. Next, I will add uh, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I will add my four eggs and mix that all up. I think I got a little bit too zealous with the uh, whacking the egg there, huh? Alright, let me get a whisk. syrup in place of granulated sugar. So the recipe calls for two cups of white sugar. I'm supposed to do anywhere from three quarter to a cup of maple syrup. I think I'm going to go with one and a half cups. So I'll use up whatever I can get out of this and um, start another bottle. Well, that's about a half right there, so yeah, I definitely have to open up a new bottle of maple syrup and then add a cup. Added the remainder of the maple syrup. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of cocoa powder. This wasn't even opened. I literally just broke the seal on it. One 
one and a half cups of purpose flour. dog is curious trying to figure out, Ma, what are you doing? Another half, one cup, and one more half. A half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of salt. I do not have white salt currently. Um, I have been using some Himalayan salt, so I'm going to put a little bit of that in. Like so. And now, stir this all up. I mean, it smells good. I don't really smell the maple. I do smell the cocoa powder, though. So I don't know, guys. This may this may turn out quite well after all. Oh yeah, now it's looking like a batter. I was thinking about taking, like, say, a large spoonful of creamy peanut butter. And when the batter's in the pan, um, yeah, it's a little bit rusty. It's a Dollar Tree pan. I gotta get some new baking pans down the road. I have to look for sales. Um, but anywho, back on topic. I was thinking about taking cream, creamy peanut butter and sort of like swirling it through the batter before it goes in the oven. I want to try that. I think that would actually be pretty good. Alright. Yeah, this is looking good. to get some more butter and I'll place this pan here and then we will preheat the oven. This goes in the oven and preheated at 350 goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Uh, you're supposed to remove it and drizzle with chocolate syrup which I don't have. Sprinkle with almonds I have some walnuts and I'm going to cut some of them up and I'll sprinkle it back in. Then it goes back in for another two to three minutes. <coughs> um, test with toothpick 
if it comes out wet, make another one or two minutes, test again until the toothpick comes out clean, and cool before serving. Some walnuts I cut up, and I'm just going to press them in actually. I'll add two more minutes on this, like the recipe said. Calm down, guys. It's almost time for them to go out for their last potty break for the night. So, my brownies can cool down while we're outside getting the dog situated, but these are going in for two, well, you know what, three. I'll put them in for three more minutes and they should be good. Okay. Moment of truth for the brownie. See, guys, it's nice to have a food critic victim living with you. Ha 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 ha. I'm joking. What you not about? That's not bad at all. With maple syrup. Can you taste the peanut butter I swirled in? No, I can taste the maple syrup more. The peanut butter. Maple syrup in the cocoa. Is it moist? Oh yeah. Even though I hate that word so much. I know. What do you think overall? No, it's not bad. I like it. I would definitely eat these again if we made them. Okay. Well, like I said, uh, at least I found out I could use maple syrup as a substitute. And so now, guys, you know too. Um, because it actually turned out really good. Don't let her lie to you. She didn't necessarily know how it was going to turn out. They know that. I already told them that at the beginning. Well, see what I gotta put up with here. Mm -hmm. See what I gotta put up with here. Get down. Lou, get, get down. down. Get down. Get down. You cannot. Anywho, guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, please, and consider subscribing. If you're not, take care, and I will see you soon on the next one. Good night. Good night, guys.